Hello everyone, so in this video, let us talk about one more easy way problem from the code. The problem name is time needed to buy tickets. Uh, it's an easy problem, but though it is a very good problem, that's I've taken it here. So let us talk about the problem statement. The problem statement goes like this, that there are N people in a line queuing to buy tickets where the zeroth person is at the front end of the line and the N minus person is at the back of the line. Okay, so as you can see that there are few people that are standing to buy some tickets and uh, these people are standing here such that the first person that is the zero index person is the very front of the line and the last nth minus one in person is the very end of the line okay now you are given zero index integer added tickets of length n where the number of tickets that the ith person has to buy at the uh, ticket counter so you can see that these are the people that are standing in the line now every person has to buy this number of tickets so let's say this person has to buy two tickets this person has to buy three tickets and so on now every person take exactly one second to buy a ticket that is also fine a person can only buy one ticket at a time and then has to go at the end so let's say uh, this person has to buy three uh, two tickets so what eventually will happen is that it will first buy one ticket and then it will go at the very end of the line okay then this next person will come forward it will buy one ticket and it will again go in the end of the line this person will come forward it will buy one ticket and it will go in the end of the line so after three seconds let's say every person has bought, bought the ticket once the street will become one two one i hope you understand that now this person has to only buy one ticket it has to buy two tickets because it has already buy and this has buy one ticket like after one circle i hope you understand because it will first buy one ticket go at the end it will buy go at the end it will buy go at the end and then the first person will again come to the very point i hope you understand that's the overall idea that it will like circle around okay let me go to understanding now the problem statement goes like this that return the time taken for the person at the kth position from the zeroth index to finish buying all his tickets so let's say uh, i will talk about the second person that is uh, zero index one index and two index so i just have to find out that what is the time taken total time taken for this person to completely buy all his tickets okay so what you can see that after three seconds after like three seconds the state will become like this the state will become one two one after three seconds t equal to three because all of them has bought one ticket and like the sub circle has completed one time now again after let's say uh, three seconds what you can see is that the first person will buy one ticket it will become zero it will go out of the queue because it has bought, bought, bought like bought all the tickets it will buy one ticket and it will again go at the back and this will again buy one ticket it will become zero and now it has bought all the tickets so three and three again so it will take three seconds to again do this whole completion in the end it will reach down here three seconds plus three seconds it will take six seconds to get all these tickets for this particular person okay now that is the complete logic not logic actually the complete problem how you can solve it out now there is one brute force approach and there is one good approach so let us talk about both of the approaches uh the time constraints are such that you can pass it easily with a brute force also brute force means that you will keep on doing this operation that i've told you that uh what you can do is that all these person you can just take a pointer let's say okay let's say you can take some pointer okay and uh, let's say your uh, person that you're looking for is k okay so now what you'll do is that you will keep on iterating over this for loop like this uh, array one by one let's say two three one two three like two three two two three two and so on so you will just keep on looping over this array and if you go at the very back you will come with the very front so that you will keep on looping over this array and at every second decrease all these value by one and keep on incrementing in some time variable let's say counter variable or timer variable okay you keep on uh, adding value so let's say time equal to one this has taken time equal to two, this has taken time equal to three this has taken time equal to four this has taken okay so it will just keep on doing a loop infinitely loop over this uh, array and whenever your kth index value that is this becomes zero you will just break out and whatever is the time you can just print it out Okay, that is the complete uh, logic that you can use to solve this particular problem out in uh, the given time constraint as well because the consider are pretty much small. But there is one optimized approach as well. Let's talk about that here at a bit. So let's say what we can do here is how you can uh, do it in a very small time or let in, in O of N only instead of like completely doing it again and again. Let's take some example of, uh, let's take some small examples. Two, two. Five and two. Let's take the example. Let's say that uh, you have to look for this person. How much time it will take for this particular person? Now, what you can see is that in one round, all of them will decrease by one. The next round, all of them will decrease by one. 
the third round so you can see that this person whatever is this person time you have to do that number of rounds it's pretty much simple because this person will come again and again and again at the very first counter so it will it will always be doing this number of rounds that is five okay so all these person will have to do a round at least this number of times if it is smaller so if it is smaller than five so let's say i have these values that is two so obviously these are two so they will exhaust first because it will always be doing five rounds because you have to come to the very first counter five times so it will be doing five rounds but all these values that are less than five will always be exhausted before five so that is fine so i will just add all these values in the time because they will always be coming and they will always be buying tickets so it will take that much time two second two second two second so it will be all adding this time and that this will also be adding this number of time pretty much simple that is one thing so if all the values that are less than five will be added once and you can just add them but what about the time that are like what is the time that is more than five so let's talk about that case as well so let's say i have the person like this two uh let's say three not three let's say it is eight it is five and again eight and i'm still not talking like talking about this now i have to do five rounds okay now in five rounds this will completely get exhausted in the five five rounds this will only take five tickets like this person will only be able to take five tickets because it will be done in five rounds after five rounds this will get exhaust like uh, this this will get exhaust but this person will still have to take some tickets i don't want to talk about that i just have to focus on this and i will do five rounds so one round two round three round in every round this will decrease by one so obviously in five rounds this will decrease by five so i will take five seconds so this person will obviously be taking five tickets okay that is completely fine so all the person which are greater than or equal to five you can just take out their value with the minimum so it will be either minimum of this and the value itself i hope you understand if it is larger i will take this value that is because it will be doing at most this number of times or like the maximum this number of times of uh, cycle so uh, this will be added if it is smaller i will just add that time that is pretty much simple but the overall idea is that if this eight is before this and if it is after this that is one more small case that you have to think about if i just add all the values that are larger than five that this overall number and if it is uh, larger than five i will just add five only for them because it will take five rounds that is fine but if it is uh after five what will eventually happen is that when i'm doing the fifth circle i will hit before like i will hit at the fifth time i will come here i will take my ticket and that will get exhausted but this person will come later if this person will come later what eventually will happen is that uh, i have taken five seconds for him that which means that i i will be taking five seconds for them uh, meaning that it will uh, this will also be added in the time but that will not happen what why the overall case is that uh, when uh, the fifth let's say the fifth round will be happening the fifth round is happening uh, this person is already exhausted it has bought his ticket i will bought his ticket now my time will stop but i have added the time for this person as well because i have added five because it will take five seconds no it will take only four seconds because in the fifth round and the fifth second for this person or when he will be able to take the fifth ticket the overall process will already stop i hope you understand so just overall idea is that if it is after the so all the values that are greater than five or let's say greater than the kth value which are after the kth value will be subtracted one from them because i have added five for all of them that is the kth value but they will not be actually contributing in the final answer because they are actually added one more time one so that is one thing that you can either uh, like take care in the actual code itself and that's it that's a pretty much logic that you can do you can rewatch this video if you still have any doubts or i will take you through a particular example a uh, try run with the complete code itself so don't worry let's see what an example is that we will first take time that is fine we'll do a for loop over this complete thing now let's take the same example let's say it is two uh, eight five and eight now what we'll doing if in this condition is that if the ticket ith ticket that i'm on so let's say i'm doing a for loop i, I am here if the i ticket is smaller than the kth position so let's say let's say the k is this so it it will means that i have to do five rounds if i have to do five rounds if it is smaller than five which means that i will completely take so this person will completely take all the tickets so it will 
contribute this complete number to the time. So I will just completely add this ticket time to the time itself. Okay. If this number is larger, if this is smaller, then we'll take it. If it is larger than the time, the ticket like this kth time. So what will happen is that I will only add five here. So I will add the kth time only. So if it is uh, smaller, I will take it. If it is greater than or equal to, I will add this kth time only. What what this eventually means is that whatever number that are greater than five, I it will take five seconds for them. <clears throat> so this will uh, uh, so this will take five seconds. This will so this will contribute to five seconds. This will contribute to five seconds. But what you can imagine is that in the first round, what will happen is that uh, this will become one, seven, uh, four, seven. Next round, this will completely become zero. So uh, that will become uh, six. And it will become uh, three. It will become six. That what will happen is that this will come next. So it will become five, three, five. Then four, two, five, uh, four. Then it will become uh, three, one, three. Then it will become two, zero, two. Okay. So when it is going like this, it has it has taken its ticket. It will already become zero. So this will not become two. Why? This will still become three because it will stop at this particular time. So this will not be like I will not go to the very continuation of the variant that now this will all take ticket and so on because I just have to find out and stop at this particular point. This has taken a ticket will become two. This has taken ticket and stop. So this will all not be taking ticket. So I have not taken ticket. It has not taken five seconds. It, it has only taken four seconds because but I have already added it like this here. Okay. So what have what we have done in this if condition is that if the ith person is greater than k, that is it is on the right side of k. And its value is greater than the ith ticket value, then we will subtract one for it, which means that because it is the at the right side of k in the last round, this will not be taken, and I will subtract one uh, penalty time uh, from its time because that will not be added due to this. I've added due to this, uh, so I will subtract dot uh, because of that. In the end, we will just print out the answer. That's it. That's a complete logic in the code part for this particular problem as well. That will be done in O of n. If you still have any doubts, you can mention in the kind box of this particular video. I will see you in the next one. Take coding and bye.